For this video, we're taking a look at this old school Pavoni home espresso machine. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. For this video, we're continuing to explore home brewing for espresso, uh, a subject that we think is really interesting. And with us today, we have a really old school machine. We have an old school uh, professional graded Pavoni. Uh, there's a bunch of different models of this. Uh, there's a bunch of different tips and tricks. It's quite amazing. Uh, the more you look online, there's a huge community already using these kind of machines. And it's a beautiful machine. Uh, that's one, a good reason to use it. Uh, two, it's definitely maybe one of the more intricate and challenging machines to brew espresso on, right? We've been brewing with it for quite some time, already shared a bunch of videos on our Patreon account for those of you that want a more in-depth uh, knowledge and understanding for how we deal with this machine. But what we want to do now in this video is to show how have we been brewing espressos with it and kind of give you some tips and tricks. So before we jump into brewing, we want to just show you the kind of gear setup that we're using and also um, tell you a few important details to consider. Uh, now, let's start by just really looking at the different components. So one, first of all, obviously the espresso machine, right? Uh, this is a pro model from Pavoni. Um, they have a few other versions as well, so keep that in mind. In terms of tools, uh, porta filter, uh, necessary as always, highly modified. You see it's actually a naked portafilter. Uh, makes a difference. Uh, visually fits really well with the machine as well. Uh, we have a few other kind of interesting little tools. Customized tamper, uh, customized distribution tool as well to fit this handle, uh, which is really kind of taking this home brewing um, experience to a whole nother level. A uh, little bit of funnel just to dose the ground coffee into the porta filter. As those of you following us know, uh, we usually grind our espresso on a Didding Sweet Lab, which we've done here as well. Uh, for a reference, that would be around three on a grind size, which is very fine in our world. Uh, but as part of the things with this machine as well, that you actually have to be able to grind very, very fine to be able to get uh, proper results with it in terms of brewing. Uh, we're actually using this little gadget here to make sure that we don't have any lumps in the actual dose that we're using when we're brewing. Because as you're grinding this fine, it's quite difficult to avoid any of lumps. So it's actually good to just make sure you loosen them up to get a better extraction. Now on the machine itself, it's a list of different modifications. It's actually a machine from one of our team members here at April that will be using it for quite some time and he's been modifying uh, quite a lot with it. So we're going to go through some basic stuff for those of you that want the really in-depth details. Uh, look in our description or at our Patreon account where we have all of the details. So a few things here is that we basically have um, two pressure gauges showing us the bars makes it a bit easier to work with. Uh, we have also kind of a temperature strip on the machine which also allows us to get a bit more um, control and we can kind of see what happens um, a bit better. There, it is a challenging machine in terms of temperature. Uh, it gets really really hot which is important. Basically don't touch anything that isn't black on the machine when it's on or even when it's off because it retains a lot of energy. Now, one of the things you have to consider is also the fact that this takes a very long time uh, to be able to use after you turn it on. So in our experience, we're talking 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so if it's from complete cold, you turn it on uh, and then you can do a bunch of other stuff and then come back about 20 minutes later and you should be good to go to brew your first espresso. So it's not for you that wants the fastest espresso in the morning, for example. Um, but it is for you that are really kind of geeky and interested in, in all of the intricate parts um, of extraction, which I think is kind of interesting as well. Um, that's about it. Um, a different side note we didn't mention, we have a little Akaya scale as well. Um, always um, measure your espressos. It's kind of interesting when you're working with a Leva system though, that especially one as traditional as this, it doesn't really allow you to play much with the actual volume of the espresso. You're kind of restricted in that. So there's, it would, for example, be very difficult for us to do, let's say a one to three ratio, which is what we normally do on our espressos here in the store using the Lomosoko setup. 
um, that is obviously a bit more new school, it's, it's very hard to actually regulate that volume continuously. Um, however, it's really fun to brew with and we're gonna jump in and um, show you guys the current way that we brew on this Pavoni home espresso machine. So we're basically waiting for the green light that shows that it's ready to brew up in temperature and up in proper pressure. Uh, when we have that, what we're doing is that we're putting the lever up before we put the portafilter in. We're putting in the portafilter, which you basically do in the wrong way, which is interesting. But that works well. Make sure it's tight. We're putting the cup on. We're pulling this all the way up. And you're going to hear there's a little bit of pressure release. I'm actually turning the timer on. I'll give it a bit of pressure up to roughly two. Then I'm gonna put it back up. She's actually gonna release a bit extra water. And then I'm gonna press all the way down. And when you're pressing, you make sure to hold the machine on the black knob to the left because you need some kind of pressure there, otherwise the machine will literally fall over. And the estimated volume we're gonna get here is about 40 grams, quite consistently, with a total brew time of about 30 minutes. Now, of about 30 seconds, with a total brew time of about 30 seconds. Now we're done with brewing, we basically want to turn it off directly because part of the challenges with these machines is that they keep on heating. So you actually run the risk of overheating it. So even if you are to pull a second machine uh, or a second shot right after now, you actually want to first one, cool down the group head with some kind of cold cloth, uh, but also turn it off and kind of let it rest. And then it will be a bit quicker turning it back on. So as you can hear, it's not gonna be the easiest experience you ever had in terms of brewing espresso, but to be fair, it is really fun. Now, the question here um, that we all have is how is it actually tasting? I should reference for the, just for the fun of it that the coffee that we're brewing is a wash processed CM Pacamar from Los Pirineos, which we actually used in our previous home espresso uh, video using the Sage espresso machine as well. Uh, one of my favorite coffees for espresso of all time. And it goes without saying that with brewing on the Pavoni, you are gonna end up with a more traditional classic espresso profile. One, because there's a limit to how much liquid I can pull out. Um, two, the extraction times are also fairly kind of compromised. So I don't have so much leverage. So it's really for those of you that want a more kind of traditional espresso style. Nothing wrong with that, right? You're gonna have a medium to high body. Uh, you're gonna have a very flavor intense shot. Uh, and you're gonna have basically a strong, more traditional espresso, which we can tend to enjoy as well. Um, and I'm sure if we keep on playing with this, there is a lot more we can do. Um, and we're definitely gonna keep it. We're gonna try to see, can we make shots that are more modern, that is more aligned to what we're doing. Um, there's definitely stuff to learn. We know there's a huge community of Pavoni users out there in the world. We would love to hear your feedback, your ideas on this as well. What's your experience when it comes to making a more modern approach of this espresso? Um, with that, we wanna thank you all for watching. Um, we've already done two, three, Patreon videos already specifically on this machine. So for those of you that want more info, I would definitely tune in on that. Any comments, any thoughts on this, then please write it below here. Subscribe to our channel. We're always really thankful when you do. And with that, thank you for watching. Have a great day. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. 
And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see uh, because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.